Hi, I'm Dennis Blosser, CEO of Marietta Silos and USA Silos Service. We're here today to answer some of your frequently asked questions regarding silo construction, inspection, repair, and silo cleaning. One of the questions we get a lot here at Marietta Silos is regarding concrete silo roofs. In the last five years, there's been a large uh, influx of inquiry regarding concrete silo roofs. Now these roofs are typically built by putting steel beams on notches in the silo wall, and then the concrete slab is poured on top of those beams. And in some cases in smaller silos, it may be bar joist. So one of the problems that we have seen is where these steel beams uh, bear on the silo wall is an area that can be susceptible to movement. It could be from vibrations in the silo of, low, of material going in and material being pulled out. Could be vibrations from equipment on the roof. It could be uh, some of the wall is flexing, but that burying area tends to be a problematic area. If it starts to deteriorate and that roof beam then settles, maybe you know a half an inch, two inches, three inches, then you have an unreinforced slab that is basically acting as a roof. So. Some of the things I want you to look for on a silo roof is do I have um, deflection in the roof slab? Typically these roofs are poured in a way to allow water to shed off of them. But if you see you have ponding of water on top of the roof, that usually means that roof is now settling, which could be a problem with the structure that supports the roof. Also, you wanna look for cracking in the roof and you wanna make sure that there's no uh, leaks in the roof. You can get leaks through cracks or through holes or through the attachment of equipment. In certain silos, if you start having leaks in your roof, it can lead to other problems down the road. And also, if it's uh, like, say, it's in a cement silo, it can end up uh, causing you buildup problems inside the silo if you get water in your cement. The other area I want you to look at is the roof curb around the outside of the silo. If you see that roof curb is starting to pop off and fall, that can be a, a damage uh, potential for people or equipment that are operating below the silo. And then where these roof beams that we talked about interface with the silo wall, a lot of times there's a notch in that silo wall and you can see either a beam pocket cover or a holiday or, or shadow of that pocket on the outside of the silo. If you see in areas like that where there is broken or cracked concrete, that usually indicates a problem with that bearing support system. So when you look at your silo roofs, not only look at the roof slab, uh, look at the rough curb and also look at those beam pocket ends in the uh, silo wall. Thank you for watching our video series. If you have any questions about a silo, just give us a call. We like talking about silos as much as we like working on them.